So we're currently just selling the old camera, which was the Canon SD1200. So just cool, yeah, that one there. So going for 211 quid. So this is paying for the camera that I'm currently using. But I think with a minute left, this is probably the most excitement that we have had all day. Oh, oh, Ooh, it's going up. Did it just go up? 211. No. Oh, minute left. Come on. Let's get 220. I want 220. Come on, you tight fisted gits. How much did it cost? It cost 200 and. Was it 270 or 280? 270. 270. We bought it two years ago. That's what we use our honeymoon money for. Come on, last 30 seconds. Oh, 227. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Last 20. I'm getting nervous, but also excited at the same time. This camera was 300 quid. Oh, 240. So this camera's now only cost me 60 quid. 245. Keep going. Keep going. 24550. Come on. Let's get 250. Gone for 24550. Boom. Thank you. Good morning everybody. So JJ Richards back again with my prep vlog video number three. So as you can see by my surroundings, I'm currently in the gym. And this gym is also my place of work. So I'm in early this morning. No one's in the gym because it doesn't even open until half past six. Because I'm on the early shift today, it's nice to get in and get my cardio done early. Because as you can see by the clock, so the time is about five to five. So I was up just gone four o'clock this morning because it takes me half an hour to, to drive into work. So it's always a very nice early start on a Monday when I'm opening the club. So today's choice of weapon for my cardio is going to be, woo -hoo, the trusty cross trainer. So it's quite nice to do something different rather than going out on the streets doing the same route. So I do quite prefer sometimes coming into the gym and using a cross trainer. Also, it's low impact as well for my knee joints. I do suffer from knee pain quite a lot. So sometimes when, the, when I come in and use a cross trainer, it's just a smoother motion for my knee. So I tend to find it a little bit more forgiving on the joints. So another hour of my life trying to burn off some body fat so I'll speak to you when I'm done so that is almost my hour as you can hear by the beep I've now finished but something strange what I always do is once the hour's finished I keep going for another 10 to 15 seconds just to prove to the machine that I have won I never like hitting the stop button and getting straight off after an hour because I don't think the machine's won but I just like to prove that if I wanted to keep going then I can right that is work done for today and also I've just finished in the gym as well so I did um chest and triceps today I didn't record it but as you can see in the title, the main part of today's video is going to be more an educational sector, uh, which I'm going to do a little bit later once I get home. So I don't want to pack the video out with too much stuff, but there'll be plenty more training footage to come. I've slightly changed my diet for the next two weeks. I won't go massively into detail of it, but I never use a carb cycle if I'm honest with you. I normally keep things pretty consistent, but I thought I'd try something different. So I'm doing like low days, medium days, and then one high day as well. But what I'll do in a follow-up video is once I've obviously give it, give it a week or so, I'll let you know how I'm getting on. I'll give you a bit more detail and a bit more structure about what my diet looks like. But pretty much since this morning, I have had about ooh, 20 grams of carbs. But my next meal, which is the only carb meal I'm having for the day. So in here, 
I've just got 70 grams of oats, so that equates to about 42 grams of carbs, and I've mixed it with 50 grams of whey protein. And I'll give you a top dieting tip here. Whenever you eat your meals, always use a baby spoon. Simple reason is it makes it last longer. You can have that one for free. The question that I get asked the most is how many calories should I eat in a day? And also, how do I work out what my daily macro intake is? So I'm gonna do a information section on my video today to give you that information. It is just an overview. Nutrition and diet is very individual, but I'm just gonna give you a quick guide for your initial first step. If you do need any more information or you want me to go in more detail, then I'll drop my email address in the description box below and feel free to give me an email if you've got any additional questions. So the first step is you need to calculate your BMR. So your BMR is how many calories your body would naturally burn in a 24 hour period if you do nothing but sit on your backside for a whole day. How do you calculate your BMR? So if you go on the internet, there's plenty of different BMR calculators that will tell you this. The one that I use, I will link in the description box below, but the only information that you really need is your height, your weight, your age, and your gender, and it'll calculate your BMR for you. So I've already done this. So my BMR was 2,035. So that is how many calories my body would naturally burn in a 24 hour period. Also, I'm gonna add into my daily calories, how many calories I'm gonna burn during exercise. So I tend to stick to just doing weight training. So the average weight training session for myself, I will burn 300 calories. And then we're gonna add those together, which is gonna be a total of 2,335 calories. So that there is going to be my initial daily calorie intake for maintenance. So as this is for weight loss, what we need to do is deduct 10% from this figure here. I'm gonna make it very simple So 10% would basically be 230 calories, which would mean my total would be 2,105 calories. So that right there is my target calorie intake for weight loss. We now know that in order to lose weight, my target daily calorie intake is going to be 2,105 calories if I was to exercise every day. So if I decide to have a day off the gym, which I'd highly recommend, I would then reduce this by 300, and that would be my daily calorie intake on a rest day. But I'm going to solely base this on training days. So step two is calculate your macros. So don't worry, I'll explain what macros means in a moment. So macros is broken down into three parts, which are protein, carbohydrate, and fat. This is now where it's gonna start getting a little bit complicated and where your brain may start to hurt. So what I'd recommend you do is just quickly press the pause button, go and grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen, just so you can scribble down some notes. But if you don't get it straight away, don't worry about it. It took me quite a while, so just constantly review the video. So I'm now gonna show you how to break down the calories into your macros. So I am gonna to aim to get 40% of my calories from protein, 
I'm going to aim to get 40% of my calories from carbohydrates and I'm going to aim to get 20% of my calories from fat. So I'd recommend sticking to these ratios to get started and you can always change it as you're progressing with your diet. So this is where the maths comes into play. So I'm going to show you the sum below to work out how many grams of protein I need per day. So, as you can see here, 2,105, that is my calories for the day. You need to divide that by 100, which will give you 1%, and then you're going to times it by 40. And the reason you're going to times it by 40, is as we've mentioned, that will give us 40%. So I've already done the maths. So for me, I'm going to get 842 calories from protein. Okay? So below that, you can see that there's 4 calories per gram of protein. Okay? There's also 4 calories per gram of carb. However, there's 9 calories per gram of fats. So what we simply do is we get the number here, which is 842 calories. You're then going to divide that by 4, which is going to give me 210 grams of protein. The carbohydrates is going to be exactly the same, because I'm aiming for the same percentage, and there's also the same amount of calories per gram. Fats is slightly different, because I've divided it by 20% which is going to give me 421 calories and I'm dividing that by 9 which is going to give me 46 grams of fats. So now we've finally figured out what our breakdown of macros is and how many grams of each macro we need to consume in a day. So the next thing we need to consider is about structure and how to plan those macros into your day. I'm not going to go into loads and loads of detail on that now because I feel like this is quite a lot to digest but I will do a follow up video on how to structure a diet based on macros. I'll give you a few little quick wins just to get you started. So first of all I would plan when your meals are going to be throughout the day. I try and not stick to having three meals a day. If you can try and go for four or five. And then the easiest thing to do is just divide these numbers by the amount of meals you're going to have. Also, another bit of advice I would give you is when it comes to carbohydrates, just look at the times that you're going to consume those carbs. I would always recommend first thing in the morning and also before and after you work out on the training days. You don't want to be having too many of your macros later on in the evening when you're going to be sat down, relaxing, not doing a great deal because the carbs aren't going to be doing a great deal as well. So I hope that made sense. I hope it wasn't too complicated. If you do have any other questions, do give me a, um, a comment in the comment box below. And again, I will do some further videos where I'll discuss a little bit more in detail about how to structure your macros into a day. So make sure you click the subscribe button now. And until next time, Peace. Description box below. Description box below. Why do I always say description blocks below? Description box below. Nailed it.